Well, happening now, hundreds of thousands of partygoers will be heading to the Las Vegas Speedway for the EDC Festival. They will be staying all over the valley, potentially staying somewhere illegal in those so-called party houses. And 13 Action News reporter Sean Delancey right now is live by the Speedway with how you can report party houses that could pop up in your neighborhood. Sean, important information here. Yeah, Trisha Todd, if these high winds keep up until tomorrow, a few hundred thousand EDC party goers are going to want to seek shelter and they can do that just past this fence and one of a few hundred tents they've got set up. They can stay in hotels. They can stay with a friend, but where they can't stay while well, partying it up is in a short term rental in your neighborhood. <laughs> A throng of music lovers will be at the EDC festival this year for three days. But to get there, they will have to go through here. To get there, they will have to stay somewhere, often miles away. You know, you see a lot of people with with strange outfits, look like they're having hardly nothing on. David and Krista Richardson see the concert goers all over their neighborhood between shows still partying it up. We do see a lot of drunks coming around. Um, they will be in their bathing suits running up to, to the gas station from here. Those partiers can stay in hotels, but they can't stay in a short term rental, something like an Airbnb, according to Clark County Code Enforcement Chief Jim Anderson. So it's a huge problem for those neighbors. And Anderson says any short term rental in unincorporated Clark County is illegal. And since they always see an uptick in violation reports around EDC, they're adding more code enforcement officers and utilizing a special street team to respond quickly. This team can focus on it. They can communicate well together. They, they work in the, out of the same office. He says code enforcers don't act alone. It takes your help to address problems in the county. So if it's happening in your neighborhood, you have to call us for something to be done. Don't assume that we're already aware of the problem. Now getting in touch with code enforcement is easy. You can do it online or by calling their office. And Anderson says that they will have officers working overtime all weekend long to respond to your reports. Sean Delancey, 13 Action News.